So in tax problems, there are four methods. I'll explain you one one problem now. First one is direct question. A dealer quotes a dealer quotes the price of an article as rupee six seventy five. And charge tax at the rate of eight percent. So find the amount that a customer has to pay. Correct. So if they will give 8 percent, they are taking 8 percent tax on the quoted price. So this is quoted. So no discount topic in this. So directly here is no discount means market price only nothing but sale price. So directly sale price is equals to because no discount information. So sale price is equals to rupees. 675 okay tax is equals to that is 8 percent of sale price so 675 right the 8 by 100 into 675 now if you simplify you'll get the value of this you can cancel by table 1 Four two seven. These are four two seven. So finally fifty two or fifty four. So fifty four rupees is the tax. Therefore total amount has to pay. So total amount to be paid. Because tax means you need to add to the sale price. That is six seventy five plus 54 so total amount that customer has to pay is 729 so this is one method of problems directly giving the tax without any discount now see one more sum Abhay bought a mobile phone Listed at two thousand eight hundred. If he got a discount of seven and of percent on it and paid. Tax at rate of ten percent. Okay, you got the discount of seven and a half percent and paid the tax at the rate of ten percent. So find the final amount. Find the final amount he paid for the phone. So finally how much he paid for the phone we need to find out. So here discount also added. So list price of the mobile is 2800 right. List price that is 2800. So list price nothing but the market price both are same and discount is equals to Seven and a half percent. So the discount is called seven and a half percent of two thousand eight hundred. 
on the list price only discount you have to pay so standard of is uh, 15 by 2 percent means 1 by 100 into 2800 okay you can cancel one so 14 sir. so 15 14 sir. that is rupees 210 so 210 rupees is a discount now sale price okay discount we need to subtract from the list price that is sale price so sale price is equals to 2800 minus this 210 rupees as discount Okay, 2800 minus 210. So finally, that is 2590. Okay, 210 if you subtract. Now, tax is calculated on sale price as we discussed. So, tax is how much? Your 10%. Therefore, tax is equals to 10% of sale price 2590 that is 10 by 100 into 25 okay 0 and your 0 cancel so that is 259 so 259 rupees is a tax now tax should be added to the sale price okay total amount paid by abai amount paid by him that is equals to sale price is 2590 plus the tax is equals to the 10 percent of this is 259 now total amount is 2000 how much 849 okay this is the amount he paid for the mobile phone okay clear this first we need to find out the discount then sale price now tax should be calculated on sale price only that is important tax should be calculated on the sale price now again the tax amount should be added to the sale price that is total amount paid by him okay, okay one more method So question here, the price of a television set includes the tax. The price of TV set inclusive of tax is, is 13,530. If the rate of tax is 10%, find the basic price and amount of tax. Basic price and amount of uh, tax also we need to find it. Okay, two problems. TV set inclusive tax is this. So including tax. Now let the basic price is X because you don't know basic price. Okay. Let basic price is equals to rupees X. Now according to the problem, tax is equals to ten percent of this basic price. 10% of x that means 10 by 100 into x so x by 10 x by 10 is a tax now according to the problem including tax is 13500 means basic price plus tax if I add that should be equal to 13500 because including tax is it so therefore x plus x by 10 that value is 13530 now simplify 10x plus x 11x 
by 10 is equals to 13,530. From this, you'll find out the x value. So x is equal to 13,530 into 10 by 11. Okay, you can cancel this. 1, 2, 3, 0. Yeah. So 12,300 is the basic price. So basic price of the television is 12,300. Now amount of tax is 10% of this. Tax also they asked. Then amount of tax. So tax is equals to 10% of this basic price. That is 12,300. So direct problem 1, 2, 3, 0 will get. Because 10 by 100 into 12,300. Okay, if we calculate this. 1, 2, 3, 0. So tax is rupees 1230. This is the method. And one last method also I'll tell you here. Whenever when you want to find out the market price, we can this problem use. Sachin purchased a bat for rupees fourteen fifty eight. Fourteen hundred and fifty eight. which includes 10% discount on the market price and then 8% tax on the remaining price 8% tax on remaining price so now question is uh, find the market price of the bat okay here given details if you observe such in purchased 1458 but this is including discount and some tax also tax also paid on the market price so let the market price of the bat is x okay market price you need to find out let market price of the bat take some x first we should take the discount because discount we need to remove now discount is equals to 10 percent of x that is 10x by 100 that is equal to x by 10. So price of the bat after discount. There is nothing but sale price. Because discount you need to remove. That is x minus x by 10. 10x minus x is 9x by 10 is sale price. Now tax is 8%. So tax is added. Therefore tax is equals to 8% of this sale price. Right? 9x by 10. Now that is 8 by 100 into 9x by 10. So 8 by 100 into 9x by 10. Now we can try to cancel this. 4, 50, 2, 25 and 2, 1, 0, 2, 5, 0. Finally 9x by 125 is the tax. Now price to be paid is sale plus tax. Now tax we got we have sale price. Now price to be paid. Price to be paid means the tax we need to add to the sale price. So sale price is 9x by 10. So I should add this tax 9x by 125. Okay. Now this value should be the search in purchased. But we first simplify this. Okay. 250 is LCM. 
if you apply 25 9 z 225x plus 18x that is 243 x by 250 okay but this value that is 243 x by 250 is nothing but the person the person purchased 1458 Okay, that is equals to 1458. Now from this we'll find out the x value. Okay, 1458 into that is 250 by 243. Okay, by simplifying this, that I'm adding also. So we'll get the value of x is equals to 1500. So that can cancel this. We're going to table. Hence, the market price of the bat is 1500. So, after simplifying this, right. so this is the problem. So, you can solve according to the given data. We should take the formula and we will try to simplify this. Fine. Okay. So, these are the problems. Not only these uh, few examples, sums and sums, some other, including textbook uh, solutions, also available in this website. Already have. Uh, said earlier so if you go through this site and you can find out some other informations regarding other subjects also for freely you can download and subscribe the channel we'll upload only videos for especially for education children okay i hope you understood well and thank you for watching